Hi folks, uh, today I want to talk about the difference between an AC motor fan and a DC motor fan. Of course, one of the things you realize is there is a slight difference in the size. Not all AC motors are this big. I think the housing is making it look bigger. But um, the first and um, most visible difference is the size. DC motors are smaller. Second, AC motors are AC induction motors. So just by winding copper, you get to pass electricity through it and you can run whatever appliance you need. DC motor fans are brushless DC motor, which are electromagnetic motors that absorb 70% less of power. The second difference is the induction versus electromagnetic, the nature of it. Um, the third is the power absorption. So an AC motor will absorb anywhere between 70 and 85 watts of power while a DC motor absorbs between 22 and 38 watts of power depending on the size of the fan, number of blades, so on and so forth. So a DC motor will absorb 70 to 75 percent less of power. Here's a fun fact. The day all the fans in India are powered by DC motor fans, India will save about 4 megawatts of power every hour, which is basically the answer to India's power problems. The last difference between AC motor and DC motor are the fact that the extra features, for example, the summer winter feature where you can turn the fan from clockwise to anti-clockwise. In AC motor fans, there is a switch on the housing of the fan. So if you want to change the direction of the fan, you have to go to the fan, climb up, change the switch, toggle the switch and then change the direction and that is done for safety reasons. You are changing the direction of the current. The same thing in a DC motor fan can be done with a remote. That is just one example and there are so many such examples of what physical changes you can do to the fan on your remote itself thereby making it a lot more convenient and by using these features your entire fan experience is just accentuated to a whole different level altogether.